Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Bring you guys a game of Conquest on Damavan Tunnel. Using the engineer kit this game. The scar. A little scar L action. Uh, reflex sight, foregrip. Laser sight. Rolling with the suppressed Glock 18, which I end up having to use quite a bit <laughs> in this game. And uh, with tank mines. And this is quite a old game. Just Got to start clearing out these old games on my hard drive, you know. So um, this is a older game before the patch. Uh, you'll notice later because uh, I end up picking up a uh, <laughs> I don't know some gun with the infrared scope before the patch and uh, <laughs> go to spot that guy and bring up the scoreboard. I do that shit a lot, but uh, no big deal. And, uh, this is an alright game on this map that I absolutely hate, and uh, I probably if you break it all down all the maps in the game this might be my least favorite like even more than operation metro or grand bazaar because uh... i don't know i struggle to do well on this map it seems like unless i tank whore or whore it up with little birds and uh... It's kind of, i don't know I, I rarely get good games infantry on this map but um Right there, I get stuck. But uh, this is a pretty good game, infantry game. And, uh, I don't think I get any vehicle kills. Oh, and this was pretty funny. I spawn in. I noticed the chopper was in front of me on the air radar, so I went to the side and crashed. Cause uh, this is an old ass game. So that this that was the first time that ever happened to me, where like I was being spawn camped by the other team's little bird. So it kind of like threw me off and I ended up crashing into the mountain <laughs> that I did not know was there and uh, I was like that was pretty lame but I come over here and recapture this flag and I believe I actually RPG this little bird or I get vehicle disabled on it or something like that and, uh, using the scar don't really use this gun anymore after I got 500 kills with it but it was a good gun uh, I've used it after the patch a few times. It doesn't seem too much of a, di at a difference. Uh, just like, I don't know, one hit kill shotgun range is where it seems to be effective, but, or to affect the three hit kill damage that it used to do. So, uh, I don't know, it's still a pretty good gun. I like it. I find that it's real good for long range and, and stuff. Um, Alright there. Yeah, I only got vehicle disabled and then someone got him with the stinger. <laughs> which is disappointing, but what are you going to do? And, uh, yeah, pretty much when I play this map, I just try to hold it down at B for the most part. Sometimes I'll go back to, you know, capture A or C, because they always get on the other side with the little birds and, uh, and cap the flag whenever you get B, but as long as you keep B your main focus, it's usually pretty easy to win. Uh, I've only come close to, I believe, losing a game on this map where I was holding B the whole time and they had the A and C cap for long enough to make any kind of a difference and uh, cause usually when they do that they just it goes back and forth between those flags and since you always got B it seems like you just stay ahead in the game and uh, so I usually just try to stick around the tunnel area and uh, <laughs> you know kill people and whatnot but I, I really hate this map I don't I don't really know the best way to play it um, I don't really can do that good on it, and I just don't have a good time playing it because it's a dark tunnel. And then they have the nerve to put the most narrow hallways ever in the tunnel, so it's like tunnels within tunnels, and too many tunnels for my taking. <laughs> so, yeah, but what are you going to do? It is what it is. Hopefully, um, the dice over at Dice, you know, they got the feedback and... Hopefully they give us some more traditional battlefield maps instead of the direction that they kind of headed. Because, uh, I don't know, Bad Company 2 maps are more Battlefield 2-y than, uh, than the vanilla maps in this game. And you get tunnels and shit. It's like... like in reality, this is a really small map. Like, this tunnel's not that big. This tunnel's probably about the size of, like, a big Call of Duty map. You know, like, uh... I don't remember the names of any of them, but it's not that big, and I don't know, I, I just don't really like it. I am glad, though, that <laughs> you can't fucking chill on top of the mountain on top, because it would just be a lot of snipers, and I'm, I'm actually glad that you suicide from, from going up there, 
because um, I don't know. It, I, I guarantee that you'd just get people camping up there the whole time, and it would just be really, really annoying, most likely. So <laughs> I'm glad for that, but I actually don't play this map too much because we always end up quitting. Everybody quits when this map comes up for some reason. Uh, probably because it is the bad, but it is what it is. What are you going to do? Um, so yeah, hopefully in the future we get some better maps, some more bigger maps. I want some more bigger maps and, uh, and shit like that. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what's in the patch uh, that comes out in February, supposedly. And supposedly they fix the uh, the in-game chat for uh, PlayStation, so that'll be good for you guys. That must be pretty lame that you can't even like talk to the people in your squad. And, that would be uh, pretty lame. I wouldn't like that too much, but um, I don't know. They said it might have something to do with the RAM or whatever in PlayStation. I guess that makes sense. Even though they have the same RAM, Xbox and, and PlayStation, I'm sure that the, the cell processors that PlayStation use take up more memory. So you never know. That could be a, the issue there, but who knows? Because uh, from what I understand, it worked fine for you guys in the beta. I don't know what's going on with that. And then they gotta fix that input lag for you guys. That I wouldn't be able to play with that. Uh, that would that would be bad. <laughs> that would be really bad. So in this part of the game, I just run around with this Glock forever, trying to find a kit to pick up. None of the supports would give me ammo, and uh, that's one. That's another problem I find find in this game is supports ne never give you ammo. Uh, medics never give you health. I wish they would made it so. Like, when you go and you, you spot them or whatever, and, you know, you're like, Oh, I need ammo. I wish it would just automatically, the guy who you were doing that to, just pooped a fucking ammo box right there. Like, you didn't even have to do anything. You just had to press it on him. That would be, uh, that would be cool, but I could see how that could bite you in your ass if someone on, on your team does it, and you're, like, across the map, and someone on the other team hears you throwing out ammo it might get you killed but I don't I don't care <laughs> I want ammo when I fucking spam select the people and I wish they could give it they would give it to us or um, I don't know another thing I was thinking about that would be cool is if uh, consoles got a uh, a chat window like PC did and even though it wouldn't be as like efficient as PC it, it, I would use it still you know then you could tell your worthless teammates to like I don't know capture a flag maybe and maybe you could motivate some people in the game that are not in your squad to actually do something and uh, it'd be cool it would probably just be a lot of shit talking in it oh and right here I pick up that M16A4 it threw me off right there because it's uh, <laughs> three round burst this is the three round burst and uh, this was a I don't know whose gun this was but he got noob tubes on and everything he came prepared to be a douchebag <laughs> in this game and uh Definitely glad they nerfed the infrared. It's kind of nice not seeing it anymore, because uh, it was pretty annoying. Um, but other things have uh, taken its place, like um, use ass with frags. Yeah, I've been actually noticing that actually quite a bit. It's not too bad. It's just annoying getting killed by it, I guess. But <laughs> what are you gonna do? I don't think they'll nerf it anymore, but you never know. They might. The way that people bitch about it, and. Uh, it's only really a problem on Operation Metro, which, which uh, I don't know. Don't play that, man. <laughs> nah, look at it. Look at how good the infrared was before the patch. If you guys don't remember, this is probably why I didn't like to use it. Is because those guys are actually really, really far away. But like on my screen, I could see them clear as day. So it kind of gives you the illusion that they're right there, and you could kill them. And you, it's kind of hard to do it from that range with the just about any gun except for like a sniper rifle, so... I don't know, it always threw me off, so I never really liked using the infrared, so... Either way, I don't kill it, care that they nerfed it, I'm just... I'm glad that they nerfed it, because it's just... You never get killed by it now, and uh, I actually got killed by someone using infrared today. I was very shocked and surprised, because... That is a rarity nowadays, <laughs> after they patched it. And uh, from what I understand, you guys on on PlayStation got it the worst and uh, for the nerf but uh, another thing that I noticed is it's nerfed different on different maps I remember like a week ago I picked up some guys G36C 
on Operation Metro, and, like, it was unusable on that map. Like, you couldn't see anything. It was all fog. It was weird. And uh, on other maps, it's not that bad. But on Operation Metro, it, like, just doesn't work. And it's kind of weird that they nerfed it so bad. I That's the only map that I've actually tried it on since the patch. That one, and, uh, I think Gulf of Omen, I ended up picking up one one time. And it wasn't that bad, so it's kind of weird if they did nerf it specifically for specific maps, like differently, which is uh, what they seem to do. Look at this guy with the map. This shit's kind of annoying, the guys you want to try to roadkill you. <laughs> Only been killed like once or twice by that, it's just annoying. I hate the sound. The sound is what pisses me off more than anything. And uh, I don't know if they're going to take that out. That and the uh, being able to elevator yourself up things. Um, they're both kind of annoying. It doesn't really bother me because when people are doing that, they're not capturing flags, so I could usually win the game. And <laughs> it doesn't really—it's just annoying playing against people who do stuff like that. But uh, they paid 60 bucks for the game or whatever they paid, so I guess they could do whatever they want. And just you know, it's not gonna change. Fucking, it's kind of weird. <laughs> for those of you who are like new to first-person shooters, like people play them completely different than how people used to play them back in the day, like, remember going to friends' houses and playing Counter-Strike, and like, but he's all like, dude, you can't, you can't just sit there like that, they'll fucking kick you, and I'm like, really? And they're like, yeah, like, camping used to be so fucking frowned upon, and, uh, yeah, like, everybody back in the day used to run around like COD 4, in COD 4, I used to play hardcore search and destroy, and people used to run around back in the day, and then, I don't know, it's like Modern Warfare 2 came out, and and just brought in a whole bunch of casual players, I think was what happened. Uh, I know people who never played video games, like, ever. And then when Modern Warfare 2 came out, they, like, bought a PlayStation or an Xbox and started giving down on games, like, <laughs> a lot. So, I don't know. I wish people would move around more, but... Uh, the rest of this game, actually, I just got sped up because it's me just spawn, die, spawn, die, spawn, die. I'm pretty sure. And, um... Yeah, I didn't. It was it was quite it was quite the boring. So I just uh, I just sped it up because it's like three minutes of me doing jack shit. And um, yeah. Anyways, we ended up winning the game right there. Uh, I forget what I did. Ended up doing all right. Yeah, twenty six and five. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Peace. Have a good one.